perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky high stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seem better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Thimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble winter. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. Go! Song of the sand. Go! Gone now. Another victim of <laughs> I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Shrine is at the top. Uh. 
Good eye. Bye, Frost Eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Norn your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Huh. Very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait. Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth. <laughs> <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Oh! Truly a wonder. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Oh, very clever. More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia.
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who freed the light. Whoa, is that a bomb? Follow once we're inside. Is there really no way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Beat to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Atreus! Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. 
Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just... The Division. Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Simple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. Thus, the Light Elves were born. Done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Follow me, friends. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These owls use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of them. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. He just like to be thorough. I see. By all means. <laughs>
fair few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the raven tree. Anything yeah. interesting this way? Explored. Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Here. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. <laughs> Gotta be a better angle on that twilight. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here, get back. Oh! 
At least I tried. I get it now. Why do they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Why is it so simple? And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. made a lot of these light doors. Huh. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Let's continue our ascent. Yeah. Understand these poems. Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it, then. on the other side.
chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Bartle Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. Ah, I see. The timing must be precise. This mystic doesn't see us. Impressive! We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Father, watch the oars! how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue?
At least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. They insist on these frustrating trials. You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish to try. Well done. More Twilight Scum. It's nice, seeing it again. Oh! 
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong way. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths. Regardless of where they end. Father, uh, up there. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I'd wondered what became of Smart Walker. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door ah! 
There's some soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. of Alfheim. How stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf came. I thought all the dark elves were... Here? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? She's still on the right side. Exactly. 
What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Let's see, my boy. Tasteful. What'll it be? You've been quite the archaeologist, haven't you? Hey, Sindri. Wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! The shrine is right there. Yeah, but there was a Nornier chest down here last time. Oh. <laughs> they moved it. <sighs> the 
giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. Void, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. On your left! Like 
This way. You can throw those back at them!
This way. It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice! I will not lead you to war. I won't. 
I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Hold on! Over here! Your chain! Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Be slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We'll discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Self assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting hell. Can't they just leave us alone?
on the other side. Ah! Ah! 
Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Oh! 